I think another big piece that I didn't necessarily realize until recently is how dedicated Clarius is to developing their product. It does a good job taking images, but finding ways to improve upon that device in ways that I didn't think was possible. I'm Dr. Matt Harkey. I'm an assistant professor here at Michigan State University uh, doing musculoskeletal research with a focus on understanding why patients following ACL injury and surgery are at risk for arthritis. Most of what I've done with ultrasound research was focused on the knee and focused specifically on the articular cartilage of the knee. At the time, that was the first thing we started looking at because articular cartilage is one of the main structures that is affected by osteoarthritis. So our idea was using ultrasound to assess kind of in a quantitative manner the thickness of your the knee cartilage and we were some of the first individuals to do that in patients following knee injury and knee surgery as well as using our ultrasound assessments of cartilage pre and post a loading intervention to kind of see the deformation that happens um, within the knee cartilage. I currently have a few studies where I'm using our L15 linear Clarius probe. I have a grant funded by the National Athletic Trainers Association where we're using the probe to measure effusion synovitis, uh, kind of in the suprapatellar portion of the knee, as a way to identify patients following knee injury and knee surgery that have some ongoing inflammatory problems within their joint. We also I have an NIH-funded career development grant that is using ultrasound to monitor uh, just a whole host of structural pathologies within the knee uh, and using kind of like a clinical grading system of measuring the cartilage, uh, the meniscus, the tendons, the effusion synovitis, and providing this kind of comprehensive assessment of all of these arthritis related structural pathologies during the first year following ACL reconstruction. I think Clarius and this handheld device just substantially surpasses traditional machine because it's much more clinically accessible and allows it to be applied in much different settings. Some of the, the AI capabilities and the voice recognition capabilities really is something that you don't get with a traditional ultrasound unit. If you've done any ultrasound scanning, you'll know that the cord is your enemy and the cord always wants to find the ultrasound gel and hit the ultrasound gel and then you're just moving around and just, you're getting gel everywhere. I honestly hated leaving, leaving the lab at the end of the day and there just being gel everywhere and I wouldn't even know where it's coming from. Besides that kind of a uh, very small benefit, the wireless portion just opens up your ability of what you can assess and how you assess. Now that you don't have that wire, you're able to do assessments where they're moving around.